Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to Secret of Evermore, and it's time to continue on. Now that we went on our glorious quest for yet another mud pepper. I mean, hey, we needed it. It just feels kind of silly that that's what all this was for. Kind of a major detour. But hey, there's a rock in the way, we need to use a pepper. So, right this way. Hey, there's a tutorial raptor. And we can't carry more wax. So, a couple of interesting things. You might notice that the waterways can apparently carry mosquitoes away, despite the fact that they're flying. But also, that particular raptor, it doesn't actually go away. It's still there, and you can actually hit it if you use the charge on the spear. I don't think I've ever actually done it, though. I think I heard it. Okay. <laughs> so, yes. This place is a water current maze. With lots and lots of exits. I think there's a switch in the next room. If we can get to that room and hit the switch, we can probably open the door. So, that's our goal. However, again you're not coming back here after you finish it. So, you might want to go hit all the dead ends anyway, just in order to find all the goodies left behind. So I'll go ahead and use speed so that I can grab the wax. So yeah, there's nothing else of import on this side, so we'll just go ahead and wrap it up first. Some clay. Try this one. Oil. More oil, and speed is worn off. So, nothing really in this one. Just a raptor to smack. You'd think there would at least be something that the dog would zero in on, but he doesn't seem interested by anything. By running, you can fight against the current. And you move the same speed as it, so you don't get knocked back unless an enemy decides to butt in where it's not wanted. I think we've been in that one.
Not sure if that was the same one or not. It's easy to get turned around here. Thing is, I don't think there's anything, like, really major to worry about leaving behind here. Mostly just reagents. And the occasional just completely empty room. And yes, for those wondering, I assure you, I do know how to get to where I actually need to go. More raptors. They're at least experience and money. I know that was one I've actually been in. Yeah. It's very easy to get turned around and forget where you've been. Honestly, we can probably go ahead and get the show on the road. So this one, with the light. Alright, fine. And you apparently wanted it first. Why isn't it letting me target? Oh! Ouch! Hey, watch it! I'm not going to hurt you! Not all vipers are savages, you know. We were all once peaceful, but the desire for power was too strong. Now there's someone leading the vipers and the raptors in order to take over. If you fight this force, we may be peaceful again. Would you like for me to record your progress? I didn't actually know about this. <laughs> okay. So, uh, making new discoveries. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> I legit did not know about that. <laughs> well, that was silly. But now we can go through here. Hello, kiddo. Hi there, Fire Eyes. Why aren't you wearing glasses? Fire Eyes? You called? Hi, sis. Hot enough for you? Who... who are you? Who do you think? I'm your evil twin. Dun, dun, dun! And I'm here to take over. As hot as it may be inside the volcano, the temperature is dropping outside. Because I'm cutting it off at the source. If the world freezes, my village will die out. That's the idea. Then my vipers and I can take control over your world. As much as I'd like to chat, sister, I've got work to do. So if you'll forgive me, I'm going to make you go away now. Say hello to my pet rock. Well, all right then. So, as quickly as you can when this fight begins, cast Defend. This thing does a lot of damage and fast. So, meet Magmar. That's not a Pokémon! Kind of a rocky dinosaur-looking thing. Throws fire all over the place, but that's not the big threat. He can also dunk himself in the lava to heal himself.
here's what does the most damage. Thankfully, Defend is helping out with that. All the same, keep good and healthy. Try and make sure you keep Defend up. He only seems to use that attack if you do too much damage to him at once, though. But, well, you kind of have to keep the damage on him in order to counter him healing himself. And there we go. Good boy. As long as you can keep the pressure on him, this fight doesn't really cause too much trouble. Don't, and he heals himself and really drives you crazy. Okay, okay. You've won the battle, Joel, but not the war. You want heat? I'll give you heat. So long, suckers. Kaboom! Mike looks distressed about this. Just something about the prehistoric dog with the wide eyes, it's just really good. And our defense wore off in a cutscene. Because yeah, I have no control right now. Going down. Hours later... Whoa! Now I know how Dandy Don Carlisle felt in Sink Boat Sink! I think I've got water in every orifice, pocket, and pore. Hmm. No sign of Mike. Mike? Nope. I better look around. So, yes, we are short one doggo. That's a problem. And also, we're in a very different place. You're not after treasure and riches like the rest of these louts, are you? The last thing we need is more adventurers around here. There are tales of hidden treasure and jewels in the land across the river. I'd go there, but I think I'll wait until the weather clears up. We may talk tough in Crustacea, but we're pretty harmless. The rogues on the west bank are much meaner. Arr! The floodwaters are a scourge, they are. The treasures on the west bank are very valuable indeed. The leader of Nobilia has posted a fine reward for them. My brother Tiny is the strongest man in these parts. Now he's in Nobilia working in the market. It's honest work for a man like my brother. Can't. Talk. Busy. Punching. Do you mind? We're trying to hit each other here. <laughs> okay, that's wax we can't carry anymore. You know what that means. Speed! So, no real leads in there. I have a variety of items for sale. I can offer them to you for a very fair price. What can I do for you? Notice, we have a new option here. Reason being? We can't buy any of these. We don't have the local currency. Talons are only good in Prehistoria. Here, we need jewels. And we get one jewel for every two talons. So there we go. I mean, my health is fine, so I don't really need that nectar right now. Th 
There's a city on the other side of the Great Desert. You might convince the Ghost Pirate to give you passage across the sand. Ghost Pirates, good to know. Hello, matey. You'll be wanting to buy some of my armor. It's the best. What can I do for you? What you got? We do indeed have new things. They're fairly pricey, so I want to do some research first to see if I can get any of those for free. Haven't quite looked that far ahead in my notes just yet. But it's good to know it's there as an option. Oh, this is where I just was. New place, I'm still learning my way around. The city leader has posted a reward for the treasures on the other side of the river. I'm going after them, I am. Since the river waters have risen, some of us adventuring types have been staying inside. More nectar, clay... Hmm. I just realized. I kind of wonder what it does if you use speed when the dog's not around, how it determines the length of it. There's treasure to be found on the west bank of the river, and I'm the one that's going to find it. Well, it seems like you have a lot of competition. Ahoy, matey. Welcome to my inn. Please stay and rest. It's only 20 jewels. Well, we've done a good bit, so this seems like a good place to stop for now. Hope you had a good night's rest. So yes, we'll go ahead and save here. See you later. And we shall resume the quest for Doggo next time. So until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. Where's my dog?